my name is Vicki Justice, bikini model for Miami, Florida, and today I'm going to show you a super great ab workout that you can do from home to give you that sexy stomach. We're going to do about 10 exercises for a minute each, resting 20 seconds in between. It's going to be intense. So follow along with me and let's do it. So we're going to start off by setting our timer. So I'm just going to hit start. And for the first exercise, we're doing hip raises. So this is really great for your lower abs. You can place your hands under your butt. So you're just gonna go up as far as you can. So squeeze your abs and raise those hips up. Make sure your legs stay straight. Squeeze your abs. Go as high as you can, really push yourself. Squeeze every single time. Feel your abs working, you should feel the burn. Keep going, really push yourself. Almost done. All right, now you can rest 20 seconds. We can let our muscles recover a bit. Catch your breath. Okay. For our next exercise, we're going to be doing a double leg raise. So you can place your hands under your hips again. Put your legs up. And you're going to lower them down and come back up. Now you have to make sure that your back stays straight the whole time. So don't go so low that your back arches. So make sure your back stays straight. Go as low as you can. Keeping good form. Squeeze your abs. This is really great for your lower abs. Go as low as you can. Squeeze. Keep going. Really push yourself. Feel the burn. Go as low as you can. All right, now we get 20 more seconds of rest. You should really feel this hitting your abs right now. It's definitely a challenging workout. We've got a long more to go. So for the next one, we're gonna do a single leg raise, which is similar to the double leg raise, but we're doing one leg at a time. All right, so. You're gonna lift both legs up, you're gonna put one down, and then switch. So we're basically working one side at a time. And in this one, since it's single leg raise, you can go really low to the ground. Make sure that your foot doesn't touch the ground though, so really squeeze your abs to keep it off the ground. Let's go up and switch, switch. And you should keep your abs engaged the whole time. Keep your, your core tight, so squeeze your abs the whole time. It's really great, get a great workout. Keep going. Squeeze. And then it's almost up. yourself some time to catch your breath. For the next one, we're just going to do some basic crunches. It's really great to just strengthen your core in general. So we're going to be training all of it. So for the crunches, bend your knees and you're going to crunch up and come back down. So really squeeze your abs and go up. Make sure your back stays straight. It shouldn't be arching. And your arms, you can lightly touch the side of your head and make sure you don't push your head up or you can put them to the side or whatever you like. Make sure you're really using your abs. If your neck starts hurting, it means you're doing it wrong. So squeeze your abs and focus on using them. Really squeeze and keep going. Oh, 
<sighs> Squeeze your abs, feel them work. <sighs> All right, I'm really feeling it now. So for the next one, we're gonna do um, toe touch crunches, which is um, basically like a crunch, but it's a little more challenging, requires more. So you're gonna keep your legs up like this, and you can bend them a little. And the point is to touch your toes, you crunch up. So crunch up, and come back down. So let's do that for a minute. Really squeeze your abs. Keep going. Let's do a full minute, come on. Almost done. Definitely tough. Second rest. 20 seconds. And now we're gonna do some bicycle crunches. So you might be familiar with this one. It's just like a crunch where we're gonna switch our legs side to side. It's really great for our feet. Alright, so elbow to knee and then switch. So let's do it for one minute. Make sure you're squeezing your abs the whole time. I'm really engaging my stomach. Keep going, really squeeze. You should feel the burn. really feel that. Oh. Alright, we've got about four more exercises to go. Oh. Feel the burn. So the next thing that we're doing is a double crunch. So basically your legs are going to be coming in the same time as your upper body. So go up and down. Squeeze your abs. Whew. Wow, really feel the burn. Just hopefully you're still following along with me. Whew. Okay, so the next one is a crisscross leg raise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your legs up and it's similar to the regular leg raise. So you're gonna go down, cross over, come back up. So down. Cross over, come back. So this one's more challenging because you have to hold it when you cross it, and it also makes your abs flex when you're crossing your legs. And if you want, you can alternate which leg crosses first. It's up to you. Come back up. Go down as low as you can. 
remember, don't let your back arch. So keep good form. Just keep going. You're almost done. Just 20 seconds. Whew. Sure, you're gonna feel this tomorrow. So now we're gonna do one minute of rotating planks. So for the rotating planks, um, you're gonna get into plank position. So we'll just flip around. So for the rotating planks, you're gonna get into plank position. Make sure your back is straight from your neck to your butt. And you're gonna rotate to one side and then switch sides. So it's really good to tone your arms and your abs as well. So I'm really squeezing my abs when I'm rotating. And when you rotate, you should hold for a second and then go to the other side. Make sure your back doesn't arch or round. Keep it straight. Make sure you're squeezing your abs the whole time. Keep going, doing it with me. Go up to the side as much as you can. Squeeze your abs the whole time to really challenge yourself. All right, now we rest for 20 seconds and we do our last exercise. So let's really go all out, push yourself, make sure you finish it with me. So for the last exercise, we're doing a hold. We're holding our leg up in plank position. So we're gonna be on our elbows and plank again. So let's get there. Make sure your back is straight. You're gonna raise one leg up and hold for about five seconds or just a few seconds. And then switch sides. So hold this one. And then switch sides. This one makes the plank position more challenging since the weight is only on one leg, so it definitely works your abs out more. Okay, you could feel it in your arms too. Switch. Keep going, we've got like 20 seconds left. You're almost done. So squeeze your abs. Switch. My arms are definitely feeling it. Just keep going, don't give up. Switch. <sighs> All right, so that's it for our workout. If you did it along with me, great job. It was definitely challenging, but um, you know, we did it. So once again, my name is Vicky Justice. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the workout. See you next time.